Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. And I have a video I wanted to make. Been wanting to make it for a while, but I can't get the words out the best I can because, you know, I'm a bumbling idiot. Um, and I get really nervous and I stutter a lot. And you guys know this. But I had something that's been bugging me in a while, for a while, actually. And this is with uh, G4 still. Now, it's not f against Frost, which I don't... We already talked about that. We're not talking about Frost. As far as I can say, she f she fucked up. And I don't... It's nothing interesting anymore. But something that's bothering me more than anything is Adam Sessler. Now... To give you an idea on how I know Adam Sessler, let's go back a few years. Now, I was in high school. There was a channel called Tech TV. They had a show called Extended Play. And that's where I first seen um, uh, Adam Sessler. That was the first time I'd seen him. Now, on Extended Play, there was Electric Playground uh, and a few other shows before it turned into G4. Because once G4 took over, I think Extended Play became X-Play. And that's when we had Morgan Webb. I'm not sure how long Morgan Webb was with. I think she was still part of the company with uh, when it was Tech TV. I'm not sure she worked on Extended Play. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, it's been years ago. Me saying Extended Play, that's a long time ago. This is when I was in high school, so... You know, I'm 34 now, so, so I mean, I'm pretty fucking old when it comes to this stuff. But I always liked Adam Sessler. I always looked forward to watching Extended Play, the X-Play. I always liked to hear his opinions. Um, you know, it's comical. He seemed to know what he was talking about. And he would attack people for being dumbasses. Now, you know, after G4 disappeared... Um, you know, we lost things like Attack of the Show, X-Play, Cops, basically. G4 ended up being like a rerun central at, at the end of it. But, you know, I kind of stopped following Adam Sessler for, you know, years. Like, I had him on Twitter, um, but I never paid attention to him. And, you know, I'm pro probably best I didn't because... And I will, probably would have agreed with him back in the day. I, I used to be a hardcore liberal, like, big time. You know, I voted for Obama twice. I was going to vote for Bernie Sanders. You know, I was hardcore into being a liberal. And I'm not saying I'm uh, any less of a liberal, but I'm not really liberal. I'm more conservative. I'm not a Republican, though. And I'm not a Democrat. I, I don't fit on any of those lines. And I don't really give a fuck about those lines. Did I vote for Trump? Yes, I did. Twice. And I had my reasons. I don't think I need to go into specifics. But it had nothing to do with me being a Nazi or a white supremacist or a feminist or... Is it feminist? No. Femi feminist is the title of... See, I, I fuck up sometimes. Um, misogynist and a homophobe i'm none of that none of that never really have been now <clears throat> the thing that's been bugging me a lot lately is just the things that adam sessler has come out and said um one which was super disturbing him basically saying he hopes his republican family would die when he sips something bubbly or he says Republicans can fuck off or die and they eat shit or eat piss. I, I don't know. Like, I'm taking all his stuff, you know, out of context because I really don't give a fuck. But it did bother me that he comes out and has this big hate for Republicans for no reason. Yeah, I know he's probably from, like, San Francisco or in that area of California or whatever, Washington. I don't know where he's from. I know he's from you know, a super liberal area, and a lot of people on the Hollywood side of the things are, you know, completely liberal and dumb as fuck. Just say the most awful things you can think of. And, you know, saying that a group of people should die, that's pretty bad, right? It's pretty bad. Calling people Nazis, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad, right? Calling people racist. 
It's pretty bad. Really bad. Call people homophobes. We can go on forever. But generalizing a whole group, 70 or 80 some million people that voted for Trump, calling them all Nazis and white supremacists and should die, there's something wrong with that. Something really wrong with that. And here's the thing, and I've talked about this before. You know, they, the left likes to attack people by calling them Nazis. But I don't see anybody on the right grabbing people, putting them on trains, and taking them to get gassed, to die, putting them in work camps, getting tortured, getting shot. We don't see that. That's something a Nazi would do, right? Kill a whole race of people? Then we call every single Republican a racist. Every one of them. All of them. If you voted for Trump, you're racist. I don't see... I, there is racism. Don't get me wrong. That happens on both ends. Actually, on all ends. If you want to get down to it, the left is racist as fuck. Democrats have used race as a way to fill, uh, use their narrative since the beginning. I mean, these are the people that back to KKK. Really, really. Yeah, I guess the Democrats don't want to admit that because that's true. It's part of their dark history, right? You know, they help with the KKK. Awesome. But you're a Republican, so you're the racist. But we don't see... The racism, when you say racism, deep hate racism, you don't see people getting lynched every single day. There's violence between people of color. There's violence with white people. There's violence against Asian, Latino. You go on and on and on and on. But we're using words like Nazi and racism and not really looking at the history of that title. How disrespectful is it to call somebody a Nazi when you had a whole race of people that experienced that? And you know, a lot of them are dead. But just because you voted for Donald Trump, you're a goddamn Nazi? How does that fucking work? And like I said, I'd like to see you prove that, motherfucker. Like, seriously. Seriously. Adam Sessler, I don't understand, man, how you can actually call somebody a Nazi or a white supremacist and you make those words, the more the people on the left say those words, the less harm those words mean to anybody. You pass it around like candy. You can't call somebody a Nazi. You can't call somebody a white supremacist unless you actually know they're a goddamn Nazi or a white supremacist. You can't. And it's disrespectful to do so. People of color have fought for their rights. Sure, there is blanket racism. And like I said, that's on all sides of the table. You calling out a white guy for being a white guy, that's racist. Oh, but white people are the only ones that could be racist. Adam Sessler, you're fucking white. Get over it. Fuck off. Seriously. That is the awfulest shit I've ever seen anybody say. Wishing their family to die because you have a different opinion of them. And you call people childish and pieces of shit because you think you're better than everybody. You have this platform where you could do a whole lot of good, but instead you waste your time and do this shit. It's bullshit. It really is. And anybody that follows that is full of shit. Dumbasses. Nazis are really bad. They're really bad people. Racists are really, really bad people. 
Again, people of color fought for their rights. People of different sexual orientations has fought for their rights. People with religious beliefs has fought for their rights. But you like to demean these people by attaching a word like Nazi like it means nothing. Like it's just another name. When you call people literally Hitler. When you call out somebody because they're white. Isn't that racism? I believe it is. I believe it is racism. You might not want to think it is, but it is. Again, the left likes to use race as a weapon. They always have to fit their narrative. They always have. I know this. I used to be on this side. I know how it works. I live in Southern Ohio. There is racism in Southern Ohio. But I don't see people getting lynched. I don't see people getting put in camps. I don't see people getting hung because they're homosexual. That's bullshit. Now, I'm, say, I'm not going to say that never happened. I'm sure it happens. There's a lot of hateful people. But you're making these terms, you're, you're lightening the meaning of these things. They don't mean nothing anymore. You like to erase history. And then rather than learn from history, you rather erase it. You rather attack people than talk to people. I don't understand. I don't understand. I, I can't support... G4. I can't support Adam Sessler. I've been following you guys for years. But I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm sorry. Maybe if you change what you won't, which you'll never see this video, you won't care because I'm white. I'm a white male. Again, that's racism. But you won't, you won't, you won't see, you won't give a damn. You want me to die. You want me to die. So go ahead, continue what you're doing. Be a dumbass. And fuck off. Hey, wait a minute, I gotta end it the way it needs to be. Peace.